Welcome back. Now let's take a look at some sports. Here's Charles Aruka. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Welcome to Sports News. Former coach of Enyimba Football Club, Kadiri Ikhana, has blamed the technical crew of the Super Eagles for Nigeria's exit at the African Nations Championship in Rwanda. The Eagles crashed out from the group phase and Ikhana says it's because the coaches did not give the game against Guinea a tactical approach. The experienced league manager told Channel Sports that coach Sandy Olise could have continued with a team that beat Niger and attacked more against the Sili National. Nigeria missed out on the quarter-final place after losing 1-0 to Guinea in their last Group C game. And football fans in the country have described the performance as disappointing. And in club soccer, Super Falcons striker Azizat Oshuala is set to join Arsenal ladies from Liverpool just a year after signing from Rivers Angels. According to a statement by the Merseyside club, they reluctantly accepted a bid for the Nigeria International after a purchase clause was activated in her contract. The deal is subject to the 21-year-old being granted a work permit and agreeing personal terms with Pedro Losa's side. Over in France, Paris Saint-Germain star Zlatan Ibrahimovic has been handed a $760,000 monthly pay rise, making him by far the highest paid footballer in France. The 34-year-old who joined the club in 2012 from AC Milan and has scored 127 goals in 156 games since then, now gets $1.1 million a month before tax under the performance-based hike agreed last year. On top, the Swede can pocket three big bonus payments for winning the Champions League, the French League title and ending the season with a top combined total of goals scored and goal assists. In tennis, Andy Murray set up an Australian Open semi-final against Milos Raonic when he weathered a fierce attack by David Ferrer on a day of rare success for Britain. A thunderstorm proved an unlikely ally for Murray when it forced the Rod Laver Arena roof to be closed mid-match, helping him to accelerate to a 6-3, 6-7, 6-2, 6-3 win in the indoor conditions he enjoys. Murray is into his 6th Australian Open semi-final and 18th overall in the Grand Slams as he attempts to go one better after finishing runner-up at four of the last six editions in Melbourne. Raonic, now working on the former world number one Carlos Moyer, continued his ascent with a 6-3, 3-6, 6-3, 6-4 victory over Gael Monfils to reach the semi-finals for the first time. That is sports news and it's back to Ijama with the rest of the news at 10. This is the ultimate redefined for men. The European Commission suggests that Greece has severely neglected its obligations to control the external frontier of Europe's passport-free Schengen zone. Here's Cynthia Are with the details. According to the assessment, failures were found regarding the proper registration, checking and fingerprinting of migrants who arrived in November. If the draft report is approved by Schengen members, Greece will be given three months to improve. Otherwise, the EU may recommend to other states to temporarily close their borders to Greece. Then U.S. President Barack Obama is calling for urgent action against the Zika virus, which has been linked to babies being born with underdeveloped brains. The president is calling for faster research to develop vaccines and treatments. President Obama's fears are justified as the World Health Organization has confirmed that the virus is likely to spread across all of the Americas. Finally, former Ivory Coast President Laurent Gbagbo goes on trial at the International Criminal Court on Thursday. And he's the most senior politician to do so since the Global War Crimes Tribunal was set up 13 years ago. Gbagbo faces four counts, including a campaign of rape and murder aimed at hanging on to power. That's the Foreign News Wrap-Up. The news at 10 continues shortly. 
Thanks a lot, Cynthia. And the main news again. The Supreme Court today affirmed the elections of Nyesom Wike, Ibikunle Amosun and Dave Umahe as governors of Rivers, Ogun and Eboye states. The Apex Court dismissed the appeals filed by their major opponents in the 2015 polls. We also told you that Yahaya Bello has been sworn in as the governor of Kogi State amid excitement in Lokoja, the state capital. The deputy governor-elect James Faleke was absent at the ceremony. And the European Union has threatened to isolate Greece from its free movement principle over the country's failure to tighten border controls aimed at limiting the influx of migrants. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us.